Hello everyone. I'm here to read to you the book that's called Merry Christmas Big Hungry Bear by Dawn and Audrey Wood. This book is about the same characters who have an experience in the summertime. In the summertime, this mouse has a strawberry plant outside and this mouse gets afraid that the big hungry bear that lives in the cold dark cave at the top of the hill is going to get it. This mouse is scared of the big hungry bear. So they got through summertime. They went through September, October, November, and now it's December, the month that has Christmas in it. We're going to find out what happens. There is crying in this book. So we're going to figure out what is the crying about. Think about why people cry. And let's figure out why there's crying. So I'm going to move up closer for you, friends, so we can really make sure you see these pictures well. Merry Christmas, Big Hungry Bear by Don and Audrey Wood. Here's the title page. Maybe you can tell that mouse is hauling some things into their house. Look, I'm wearing a hat to kind of match the mouse. Oh boy, look at mouse now on this page. Mouse is really hauling a lot of heavy things, it seems. Good work using your muscles, Mousy. Here we are. Hello, little mouse. I see you are ready for Christmas. My goodness, what a lot of presents. Are they all for you? Mouse has a very happy expression like, yes, they are. <gasps> but little mouse, what about the big hungry bear in the cold, dark cave at the top of the hill? Oh, that's kind of an uh-oh expression. Oh, how that bear loves Christmas presents. Do you see where Mouse is looking? Mm-hmm. Maybe trying to look to see if that bear is coming. That bear loves red ones, Green ones, little ones, big ones. What do you think Mouse is doing here? Mm -hmm. Locking them up. That bear would do anything to get some presents. Ooh, look at the face on that mouse now. Look at those eyebrows. Those eyebrows are going down, kind of like a serious or mad or aggressive expression. And why do you think that mouse is hammering on the door? Mm -hmm, to keep that bear out. Let's see what happens. But the bear never does get any presents, not even from Santa. <gasps> Did you hear that? Mouse just found out that the bear never gets any presents, not even from Santa, even though Mouse just protected all his presents He's standing on the key. He put all those sharp things, pokey things around. He locked up the door. He hammered it shut. Here's the crying page. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Every Christmas, the bear sits alone in his cold, dark cave and plop, 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 tears fall from his big, hungry eyes. 
Why do you think the mouse is crying? Why is mouse crying? Mouse has presence. And mouse doesn't look scared anymore. Let's see if the next page gives us a clue why Mouse is crying. <gasps> Little Mouse, what are you doing? Oh, friends, look. Notice the door. The door has changed. Notice all those pokey nail tacks have been swept up. Notice the key. Do you see the key? The key has been used to unlock all of the presents. And look what little mouse is doing with his clothes. Do you know what that means? Little mouse felt sorry for the bear. That's why little mouse was crying. Little mouse was sad for the bear, like compassion felt sorry for him that he never got any presents and he sits alone and cries. So Mouse is doing something different now, making his house open up, getting the presents and look. Oh, I see. What a brave little mouse you are. <laughs> no one else in the whole wide world would go to the cold, dark cave of the big hungry bear. Especially on Christmas Eve. What is that mouse going to do, friends? Oh, mouse. You're dressed up like Kris Kringle, Santa Claus. What are you going to do? <gasps> Shh, little mouse. Someone big is fast asleep. Who's fast asleep? Bear. The bear is fast asleep. Quick, little mouse. Someone big is waking up. Now I'm gonna take a break and tell you, we do not ever see the bear and the mouse does not get hurt. Two things for some people like to know ahead of time. We never see the bear, mouse does not get hurt. <gasps> Hi, little mouse. Someone big is peeking. We never get to see the bear, but the words tell us that the bear was peeking out of the cave and Mouse was still there. Look what happens, look what happens. Now Mouse was hiding and now it says, come out, come out little Mouse. I see something big. Now remember, we aren't gonna see the bear, right? So the big thing is not the bear. It's something else. <gasps> something big for you. Do you see the very big thing? Not the Christmas tree, the other big thing. Merry Christmas. From the big hungry bear. The bear gave the mouse that big present. They gave each other presents. And this page says, the end. Wait, the end? You know what that means? We never find out what's in the box. That is the last page. We never find out what was in this present. It's a cliffhanger ending, we don't know. But when my big girl now was a little girl, she did not like that end. She wanted to know what was in it. And I said, honey, I'm sorry, the author didn't tell us. They left it up to our imagination. 
so you know what she did. Some of you maybe know this already. She drew a picture of cheese and then she wrote the words the end or some people say the end. So you can think about that too. What do you think the, the bear gave the mouse? And we never know for sure, but you get to finish the story and make it up for yourself. Oh, we love this book. We love this book. We love this book. And I hope you enjoyed it too. Merry Christmas from me and the big hungry bear and the little mouse. <laughs>